learning objectives after studying this chapter students will be able to explain the meaning of financial market explain the meaning of money market and describe its major instruments explain the nature and types of capital market distinguish between money market and capital market explain the meaning and functions of stock exchange Describe the functioning of NSEI and OTCEI and describe the role of SEBI in investor protection. Introduction Financial Markets Financial market is a mechanism that allows the people to buy and sell financial securities, commodities and other fungible items of value at low transaction costs and at prices that reflect the efficient market hypothesis. It is a market for the creation and exchange of financial assets. Functions of Financial Markets Financial markets have an important role in the allocation of resources among the economy. It smoothens the economy through the following functions. Mobilization of Savings Financial markets acts as an intermediary between savers and investors. It channelizes the deposits from the savers to the productive functioning of the economy. Facilitating price discovery. Demand and supply are the basic forces which determines the prices of a commodity. Here, in the financial market, the households are suppliers of funds and business firms represent the demand. This households and business firms together creates prices for the commodities traded in the market, providing liquidity of financial assets. Financial markets facilitate easy purchase and sale of financial assets. In doing so, they provide liquidity to financial assets so that they can be easily converted into cash whenever required. Holders of assets can readily sell their financial assets through the mechanism of the financial market. Reducing the cost of transactions Financial markets provide valuable information about securities being traded in the market. It helps to save time, effort and money that both buyers and sellers of a financial asset would have to otherwise spend to try and find each other. Money Market Instruments Money Market The money market is a market for short-term funds which deals in monetary assets whose period of maturity is up to one year. These assets are closed substitutes for money. Treasury Bill A treasury bill is basically an instrument of short-term borrowing by the government of India, maturing in less than one year. They are also known as zero-coupon bonds issued by the Reserve Bank of India. They are issued in the form of a promissory note. Commercial paper Commercial paper is a short-term unsecured promissory note negotiable and transferable by endorsement and delivery with a fixed maturity period. It is issued by large and credit-worthy companies to raise short-term funds at lower rates of interest than market rates. Call money. Call money is short-term finance repayable on demand with a maturity period of one day to 15 days, used for interbank transactions. Call money is a method by which banks borrow from each other to be able to maintain the CRR as per RBI. Certificates of Deposits Certificates of deposits are unsecured, negotiable, short-term instruments in bearer form, issued by commercial banks and development financial institutions. They can be issued during periods of tight liquidity when the deposit growth of banks is slow, but the demand for credit is high. Commercial Bill a commercial bill is a short-term, negotiable, self-liquidating instrument which is used to finance the credit sales of firms. When goods are sold on credit, the buyer becomes liable to make payment on a specific date in future. 
the seller could wait till the specified date or make use of a bill of exchange. Money Market and Capital Markets Money Market The money market is a market for short-term funds which deals in monetary assets whose period of maturity is up to one year. These assets are close substitutes for money. Capital Market Capital market is a mechanism which allows the people to buy and sell their securities. The companies are also dealing with their shares and securities through the capital market. But it requires some formalities. Difference between money market and capital market. Both money market and capital market are differs each other and important points of difference are discussed below. Participants. Participation in the money market is by and large undertaken by institutional participants such as the RBI, banks, financial institutions and finance companies. Whereas the participants in the capital market are financial institutions, banks, corporate entities, foreign investors and other retail investors from members of the public. Investment Outlay in the money market, transactions entail huge sums of money as the instruments are quite expensive. Investment in the capital market, that is securities, does not necessarily require a huge financial outlay. Duration Money market instruments have a maximum tenure of one year and may even be issued for a single day. The capital market deals in medium and long-term securities such as equity shares and debentures. Safety Money market is generally much safer with a minimum risk of default. Capital market instruments are riskier both with respect to returns and principal repayment. Expected return as compared to the capital market, the investors of money market will get a lesser return. The investments in capital markets generally yield a higher return for investors than the money markets. Primary Markets The primary market is also known as the new issues market. It deals with new securities being issued for the first time. The essential function of a primary market is to facilitate the transfer of inevitable funds from savers to new entrepreneurs. Methods of Flotation In primary market, money is collected through different methods. Important among them are discussed below. Offer through prospectus This is the most popular method of raising funds by public companies in the primary market. Under this method, the companies invite application for subscription from the public through issue of prospectus. Offer for sale. Under this method, securities are offered for sale to the intermediaries like issuing houses or stock brokers. These stock brokers will then sell it to the public. Private placement. Private placement is the allotment of securities by a company to institutional investors and some selected individuals. It helps to raise capital more quickly than a public issue. Rights Issue This is a privilege given to existing shareholders to subscribe to a new issue of shares according to the terms and conditions of the company. The shareholders are offered the right to buy new shares in proportion to the number of shares they already possess. EIPOs A company proposing to issue capital to the public through the online system of the stock exchange has to enter in an agreement with the stock exchange. This is called an initial public offer, IPO. Stock Exchange Secondary Market The secondary market is also known as the stock market or stock exchange. It is a market for the purchase and sale of existing securities. It helps existing investors to disinvest and fresh investors to enter the market. It also provides liquidity and marketability to existing securities. 
Functions of Stock Exchange A stock exchange is an institution which provides a platform for buying and selling of existing securities. As a market, the stock exchange facilitates the exchange of a security, share, debentures and bonds, providing stability to the existing securities. The basic function of a stock exchange is the creation of a continuous market where securities are bought and sold. It gives investors the chance to disinvest and reinvest. Pricing of securities Share prices on a stock exchange are determined by the forces of demand and supply. A stock exchange is a mechanism of constant valuation through which the prices of securities are determined. Safety of transactions The membership of a stock exchange is well regulated and its dealings are well defined according to the existing legal framework. This ensures that the investing public gets a safe and fair deal on the market. Contribute to economic growth a stock exchange is a market in which existing securities are resold or traded. Through this process of disinvestment and reinvestment into most productive investment avenues is possible. This leads to capital formation and economic growth. Spreading the equity cult. The stock exchange can play a vital role in ensuring wider share ownership by regulating new issues, better trading practices and taking effective steps in educating the public about investments. NSE and OTCEI Functioning of NSEI and OTCEI The National Stock Exchange, NSE and Over-the-Counter Exchange of India OTCEI are the two important role-playing organizations in the Indian capital market. These two organizations connect the investors and the traders in the Indian capital market. National Stock Exchange The National Stock Exchange of India is the latest, most modern and technology-driven stock exchange. It was incorporated in 1992 and was recognized as a stock exchange in April 1993. Functioning of NSE The NSE was set up by leading financial institutions, banks, insurance companies and other financial intermediaries. It is managed by professionals who do not directly or indirectly trade on the exchange. Within 10 years of establishment, NSE has achieved its objective and provided a nationwide screen-based trading system with high degree of transparency. Market Segments The market segment is divided into two major parts as Wholesale Market Segment and OTCEI. Wholesale Debt Market Segment this segment provides a trading platform for a wide range of fixed income securities that include central government securities, treasury bills, state development loans, bonds, etc. Capital Market Segment The Capital Market Segment of NSE provides an efficient and transparent platform for trading in equity, preference, debentures, exchange-traded funds, as well as retail government securities. Over-the-Counter Exchange of India OCTEI The OCTEI is a company incorporated under the Companies Act 1956. It was set up to provide small and medium companies an access to the capital market for raising finance in a cost-effective manner or facilitate over-the-counter market. Over-the-counter market may be defined as a place where buyers seek sellers and vice versa and then attempt to arrange terms and conditions for purchase or sale acceptable to both the parties. SEBI and Investor Protection the Securities and Exchange Board of India was established by the Government of India on 12 April 1988 as an interim administrative body 
to promote orderly and healthy growth of securities market and for investor protection. Protective Roles of SEBI SEBI strongly believes that investors are the backbone of the securities market. It plays an inevitable role in the capital market to protect the investor's interest. Some of them are discussed below. Education Programs SEBI launched a comprehensive education campaign aimed at creating awareness among investors about securities market, which has been christened Securities Market Awareness Campaign, SMAC. The motto of the campaign is, an educated investor is a protected investor. Workshops At workshops, the aim is to acclimatize the investors with the functioning of the securities market, the basic fundamentals of the investment, and risk management and their rights and responsibilities. Advertisements SEBI has prepared simple do's and don'ts for investors relating to various aspects of the securities market. Till date, over 700 advertisements relating to various aspects of securities market have appeared in 48 different newspapers or six magazines covering approximately 111 cities and nine regional languages apart from English and Hindi. All India Radio With regard to educating investors through the medium of radio, SEBI officials regularly participate in programs aired by All India Radio. Internet-Based Response System A simple and effective internet-based response to investors' complaints has been set up. On filing your complaint electronically, an acknowledgement mail would be sent to your specified email address and you will be issued a complaint registration number instantaneously. Website SEBI has developed and dedicated a website to investor education. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash investor dot SEBI dot GOV dot IN. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Financial market is a market for creation and exchange of financial assets. It helps in mobilization and channelizing the savings into most productive uses. Money market is a market for short-term funds. It deals in monetary assets whose period of maturity is less than one year. The instruments of money market include treasury bills, commercial paper, call money, certificate of deposit, commercial bills, participation certificates and money market mutual funds. Capital market is a place where long-term funds are mobilized by the corporate undertakings and government. Capital market may be divided into primary market and secondary market. Primary market deals with the new securities which were not previously tradable to the public. Secondary market is a place where existing securities are bought and sold. Stock exchanges are the organizations which provide a platform for buying and selling of existing securities. Securities and Exchange Board of India was established in 1988 and was given statutory status through an act in 1992. The SEBI was set up to protect the interests of investors, development and regulation of securities market.